Welcome back. So let's just try and discuss the return types inside our requests. Because right now I'm using a void return type and as you guys know, void means that I don't need to return anything from a method. So that pretty much just means that right now I'm not sending anything back when you're creating a new customer. Let me show what I mean right here. Let's just jump back to our code. I just need to run this. Let's just start it up. No debugging this time. And what I want to do is kind of just try and actually send the post request again. And what you'll see is actually that when it's running, let's give it a second right here. There we go. You'll see I don't get any information back. I don't get, I get an okay. So I do get some information that's kind of pre-built for you inside the .NET Core REST API, but I don't get the actual customer back. So I don't know what the new ID is actually for this customer who was just created. And sometimes that actually I need to know when the customer is created. It's great to get him back so I can see the ID, the unique identifier for that customer. Let's try and fix that. So jumping back to the code right here, notice again, it's a void as I just said. Let's change that. So instead of actually returning a void, we are going to return a customer, right? And then let's just say return customer because we need to, of course, when we change this to an actual object, we need to also return the actual object. So let's just try and run this again. And now you'll actually notice that inside the request, I'm actually going to get back an actual customer. But the cool thing is, because of the way we set this up, when we create the customer, let's just try and jump through our code a bit here. When we create a customer, uh, we're going to jump to the service. And inside the service, what's going to happen is the service is going to redirect us to the repository. And the repository is actually going to go in and add an ID to the customer, add the customer to the database, and then return the customer. That means that when we get the customer back inside our controller, he's actually going to have an ID and then we're going to pass back the customer with an ID. So when we send him into the controller, he's not going to have an ID, but when we return him, he's going to have an ID. Let's try and see what that did to our code. So the code is running again. I'll do the post request again. Same guy right here. I'll send it and you'll notice that when he returns, he actually has an ID now, right? Sending with no ID, returning with an actual ID. So that's how simple it is if you guys want to send some data back. Next lesson, we're going to extend this a little bit because we can actually also decide how we, what status we send back to the user. It doesn't have to be 200 OK. We can actually change that. So see you next time. We'll have a look about the different types we can send back, the di different statuses we can send back in a request. Have fun.